Now, oh, the killer whales can swim 30 miles per hour. Oh, wow, I think they got it. Did you see that last one? That was, it, I saw a little porpoise come up. Oh, no, it's still swimming. That time, I think they pretty much. Oh no, he's still. Oh, oh, in his mouth. I got it. Oh, I totally did you got get that. it. Yeah. Oh. They got it in the mouth that time. You see that, John? Now they divvy it up. In the mouth. Now they're going to celebrate? Yeah. Now they're going to play. They work like a pack of wolves to take down these animals. And then they share their food. I think the little one's injured now because they had it in the mouth. So it's not going to be able to swim very quick now. There's a big male there too, eh? He's got the really tall fin. Yeah. He's coming our way. Totally. Oh! I'm loading. Oh! oh shit. Hey, that was a good shot of the harbor. It's a harbor porpoise for sure. That's a harbor porpoise. They knocked him right out of the wall. He was right in the air. They knocked him. You didn't get that, Brendan, when he I was came reloading. up? Oh, dude. It's okay, it's okay. They knocked him clear in the air, that harbor porpoise. He's still swimming. See him? Yeah. He's ahead of them, oh. swimming for his light right there. See oh, that yeah. little splash? Yeah. He's still alive. The little dude is still living. Did you see that? They just knocked him like 10 feet in the air. It's a little harbor porpoise. We got a good visual of the porpoise. It's a harbor porpoise. Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. Let's just watch that. He's still living, he's still swimming. But they knocked him right in the air, that harbor porpoise. I'll go back to you. Uh, okay. Guys, that was amazing. You saw the whole porpoise when they knocked him in the air. This is like raw National Geographic, eh?
that. They're totally playing here with us. The problem is we got to get another boat with us. If we get another boat, they'll go beside him and we can view them. Right now they're bow riding, but our bow is too long. We can't see them. <laughs> the one negative of these boats, the bow is too long. So the other, the other boat's coming. He'll be here in two minutes. Who is it? Dave, Ziggy, on the outside. Oh, nice. He'll pull up beside us and he'll bow ride with him and we'll get a real That one did a roll upside down. This one went, rolled over upside down, came back. It was built in 1860. Yeah, it's quite the smell, eh? That's stronger than usual. Wow. We're downwind of the sea lions. I'll, uh, I'll minimize the time we're downwind. <laughs> Brandon's gonna have a, gonna fall overboard. Do you find it stronger than usual? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Carol Slater. They've been living here since 1980. And the reason they're still living here is because this is now an ecological reserve. It's a marine protected area. And there's a university which does research and they help out with all the research. 